<laughs> Talk about fun things. Um, what's the biggest jump you ever did? Now, I, I, I know that, you know, around here, there's a big jump. Just probably Larocco's Leap. That's the biggest you ever done? Yeah. I mean, all the I don't smoke's know. still intact. Yeah. I, everything, I everything. never had any big mishaps on it. Um, just every time I just prayed. <laughs> I, I definitely don't like that jump. Fourth gear? Third gear. Third, Third gear on a 450. And, Third um, gear on a 450. And um, Crawfordsville, Indiana had one yep. similar to it. A step up, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And um, that one was probably just as long. I think easier because it was a little more forgiving. Um, but yeah, those are probably the two biggest ones I've done. So out back of Red Bud, there's 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 a double uphill double in there. Uh, yeah. But that's not that's that's not, no, that's pretty little. Is it, pretty it, little? it shoots you up high. It's yeah, a good, good yeah. It's a good crowd pleaser. It's right yeah. before right hander, isn't it? You kind of left hander. Left hander. Left hander. Left hander. Right hander at one point. Okay. And um, knock it over here. You come, a, you can come over that, then you come back around, come back downhill. Yep, right? that one's just yeah. uh, it's an easy jump, but uh, it does shoot you up pretty high. That one's actually really fun. Does yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's the first time I saw La, uh, Larocco's. I almost said Loretta's leap. Uh, that's the creek you jump in. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it's you just can't fathom it. I, I mean, when when was the first time? Because you did it on a four fifty, right? Not a two fifty. Yeah, I did it on a four fifty. Four fifty. Yeah. Okay. When your first experience with that was it like how do you how do you build up to that i mean is that i mean you're used to jumping right you're a motocrosser yeah. but um it was actually at a regional for loretta lens i think 2012 maybe and um joey sabachi was there at red bud and we we're in the same class and there's a couple of couple of us i was probably back in like fifth or sixth and they were all doing it so i had i had to do it you know yeah. just to be competitive with them right and um so that's I just tagged along with everybody else that was doing it, and yeah, yeah, I had to do it. So you matched your speed, yeah, right. I mean, yeah. I knew it was it was more just getting the courage up. Right, I knew how to do it. Right, you know, I've talked to a lot of older guys that have done it. Packed like, your parachute, yeah, just in case. <laughs> yep, <laughs> they, all, they just said third gear wide open, don't let off. So, oh boy, yeah, it was easy. It's e it's an easy jump because you know just third gear wide open, right? But. Like scary. you can't, you can't back off at all. I mean, you no. can't think about it. You just got to yeah, go. Yeah. Yep. I'd rather over jump it. Right. Right. <laughs> well, I, it. I saw Ricky Carmichael just take all the spokes off his, out of his wheels. Yeah. He, he come down and just, just shredded that, yep. that wheel there. It's like, wow. I know a lot of people have. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Well, I think oh. Mike LaRocco, I was watching a video on YouTube and I think he was, he did it like on a 125 or some insane thing. It's different now. Yeah. With it, because I know James Stewart and them guys, they used to do an 125. There's there's absolutely no way even come close to doing an 125. No. Now, yeah, it's just so much sand here. They've added a bunch of sand in. Okay. Because they, they changed the turn. It, they've changed the turn. Yeah. So, uh, quite a few times they've changed it. Okay. And um, yeah, it, 250Fs, there's a few of them doing it this year, which I don't, I don't know how they were doing it. Yeah. <laughs> but. Maybe a little bit of motor work. Oh yeah, a lot you of know, motor work. A lot of motor work. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And the one kid that was doing it, he's super little too, so that helps. Being yeah. Light. But what's your favorite bike of all time? Because you're a Honda guy. I'm a Honda guy. Yeah. And the one I'm on now. I mean, every time I get a new bike, yeah, that's my favorite bike. It's just they they get so much better, and it's amazing. So I got a 2020 Honda 450. Nice. And um, yeah. Awesome. So what's your what's your plans for twenty one here? Um I'm gonna go try and redeem myself at Loretta's. Okay. And uh win that thirty plus class. So that's that's the goal for this year. You'll so, do it. You'll win. So you, you get a brand new bike. Uh what do you end up doing to it? Um first thing I do Where do you get it from? Let's start with that. I get it from Championship Power Sports. Okay. There All you right. go. Best place around. Only place around. Only place around. Only place yes, around. I gotta say yeah, it's the only place around. Um, Four one nine three three five eighty six hundred. There you go. Toledo podcast. Jim Garavage. Ohio. <laughs> um, first thing I do, I usually I usually ride it. I don't do anything with it really, and um, I like to I like to know how it works. I like to know how the suspension works stock. So then when I get it done, I, I usually get it done like five hours afterwards or something. Yeah. And um, just so I know where like a base base starting, you know, and um, you doing I, that yourself. 
Nope. Uh, Mitch Gerwin. Okay. Turbo Speed. 